Okay, all right. Um, here we are with the uh, core something two, and it's the um, a paper, January two thousand and eleven. Wow, that was a slick start, right? Um, so we're on the binomial expansion stuff. Find and simplify the first three terms in ascending powers of x in the binomial expansion of one plus two x to the seven. Well, even though because it does start with a one, it, you know it's perhaps slightly easier to use that other formula. That that we've just talked about. Actually, we're going to stick with the formula that we know that this is a plus b to the power of 7. a is 1 and b is 2x. And the first three terms is going to start with 1 to the 7. And I'll write that even though we don't really need to have that in there. Um, plus, and then it's, uh, well, the, the first term. The first coefficient is always just going to be the power number anyway, isn't it? That would be 7c1, or 7 factorial, or 1 factorial, 6 factorial, whatever happens, it's going to be 7. And then we'd have 1 to the 6 and 2x. And then they're not actually asking us for much here, they're asking us for the next term. And you have your choices about how you find this. You could do Pascal's triangle, you could do the NCR button. I am going to write 7 factorial. Over now, if that was a six there, this must be a five down here. And a two. One to the five, two x squared. And if we go on, and that's that's as far as we had to go because that is our first three terms in ascending the power of x. So that first term is one. We're careful about the powers and multiplying things together. We've got 7 times 1 times 2, which I reckon might be 14. And there, we, we are of course now in a calculator module, um, but we could do this without a calculator probably. This is 7 factorial over 5 factorial, 2 factorial. The 5 factorials we cancel out top and bottom, leaving us with 7 times 6, divided by 2, so that's 7 times 3, so that's 21 from that bit there. We're multiplying 21 by 1 and by 2x squared. Now if you square 2x, you get 4x squared. I maybe wouldn't have written it like normally, but I just wanted to stress that point because that is an easy mistake to make. That we forget that when we're squaring 2x, we're squaring all of 2x, so that becomes 4x squared. And we've got um, what would that be? 84 x squared as our term there. Great. All happy with that? And hence find the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of that. So the expansion of that part 2 of the year. Well, that just means multiply your answer that you've just found by 2 minus 5x. So there's 2 minus 5x. Multiply by 1 plus 14x plus 84x squared. Um, now, the thing with this is we don't, we don't need to multiply out the whole thing. And it really, for three marks, is going to be a bit of a waste of your time to multiply out the whole thing step by step. We're only interested in the term in x squared. And we could only get an x squared term by doing that 2 multiplied by that 84x squared and by doing that minus 5x multiplied by that plus 14x. That's the only way that we could possibly get an x squared term. So our answer for x squared, the coefficient of x squared, is going to be 2 times 84 plus minus 5 times 14. Which is going to be a, a number. 168 minus something else, 70. Ooh. So that would be 98. There we go. Ace. We've just got six marks. I think.
think we'd enjoy that if that was the first question on our paper, wouldn't we? Quite a nice start. There we go. James, this is where you turn the camera off.